Welcome to the next level. The next in here, the one, the only, Kotodama, the seven mysteries of Fujisawa. I practiced saying that quite a bit. I even had a pre stream a second ago because internet issues, but nonetheless, Kotodama, the seven mysteries of Fujisawa from P Cube. This is a visual novel, but with a puzzle game twist. June 1st, which is almost is June 1st. Which way did I come from again? Yes, I often ask myself that question. Wait, are you lost? I nod at the blue fox on my shoulder. I thought it was a cat. <laughs> but yeah, cats don't have tails like that. But not before looking around and make sure nobody's watching. Which one's class 3D? Don't ask me. This is why you should have just waited genius now I'm being talked down to by a fox whose bright idea was it to just walk around for a bit you want me to do something with my power look I'm a demon not a miracle worker oh help me Monchan you're my only hope really look is that mouth just for show instead of flattering me how about you just ask for someone for help don't want to be late in your first day do you this game just released on Nintendo switch PlayStation 4 and Steam today I believe it has a retail price of $29.99 okay so long story short I signed a contract with the demon and by demon I mean this cute little blue fox thing apparently her real form is gorgeous but I've never seen it myself normally nobody else can see Monchan unless she materializes convenient but if anyone were to see me talking to her they think I'm crazy I think you're crazy when I try looking for someone anyone who can help I hear a frantic pitter pat of feet rushing my way Hey you, over there. Are they talking to me? Well, I guess technically I'm the only one here. Yes, you, hang on. A female student approaches me. What's up, welcome to the live stream. Did you hear a weird scream around here? After class yesterday, there's a rumor going around about the curse of, see, this is where I'm gonna screw up a lot of these names. So forgive me. Curse of Mikoto? I think. Oh boy, looks like we have a live one here. Yes, you can he said it. Curse, huh? Now that's a pretty dangerous word to just throw around. Monchan sounds like she's having fun, but she's got a point. The girl keeps talking. Apparently people heard a strange voice by the stairs to the roof. And well the roof is a key location of the curse. So if you know anything, please tell me. I shake my head and the girl's shoulders droop dramatically. Now that's a dramatic droop. Welcome to the stream. Ugh, another dead end, huh? Thanks anyway. The people that publish this P-Cube do a fan service and they poured over a lot of games that nobody else wants to touch. Welcome, Sombra. The girl trots away before I can even ask her for help. I still know you as Yasaku. I'm used to calling you Yasaku. What on earth was that all about? I can only shrug. Suddenly, the bell rings. Ding dong ding. Suddenly, the bell rings. It looks like I've run out of time. You're late. I start making a mad dash down the hallway. A new CG has been added to the CG clash. Okay. So we can watch these videos whenever we want. Apparently, you have to press down on the D-pad. To select the menu. I'm, there's only one option there. That doesn't make sense to me, but. I crash into someone. This is why you don't run in the hallway. This is why you don't run, kids. What the hell are you doing? Oh, please don't run in the hallway like that. It's dangerous. Oh, aren't you? Thank goodness. I've been looking for you. I was worried since you weren't around when the bell rang. I'm your homeroom teacher. This is the teacher? And I'm not even going to try to get that name. Something. Mizuki. Miss Mizuki. Unless she's married. Mrs. Mizuki. Running to my homeroom teacher was a blessing in disguise. I nod. It's a hell of a homeroom. <laughs> Let me be quiet. A bunch of papers with names, notes, and numbers are scattered all over the floor. I quickly apologize and rushed to help pick them up. Thank you. Don't worry about organizing them. Just stack them all up. I hand her the stack of papers and apologize for getting lost. Well, Fujisawa Academy is a pretty big campus. Even the freshmen have only just now gotten their bearings. Mizuki Sensei seems to be lost in thought. 
All right, let's head to the classroom, shall we? How she lost in thought? The hell? We have a new friend who'll be joining us starting today. The whole classroom's in an uproar. They're probably curious as why they transferred so late in the semester. Now these visual novels, there's not a lot of action going on. There is a mini game here that we'll get to at some point. I don't know when it comes into play, but these aren't like the. Um, it's not non-stop action. So if you're look, coming for that, you come to the wrong channel right now. Now I know you're all curious, but please keep it down. Okay, now please introduce yourself. What's your gender? They don't have another option. Come on, man. It's 2019. What's your name? Uh, well, no, we're gonna go with uh, Just call me next And what's my last name? Uh, level Even though we're not capitalizing the first letter, but that's fine Is this correct? Yeah, I believe so Everyone get along now, okay? I give a generic greeting and soon enough I found a familiar face. It's the crazy girl who said something about a curse or whatever. Stay away from the crazy ones. Ah, it's you. Oh, do you know each other, Kaguru-san? Yeah, we just met at the third floor stairwell. Well, that's just perfect. You can take a seat next to Kaguru-san. Hey, <laughs> must be destiny. I shoot Montana a dirty look, but make sure not to look suspicious. With all eyes on me, I take the back window seat as instructed. Uh -huh. Well, once again, the name's... Nanami Kagura. Everyone calls me Nanami, so you can call me that too. Nice to meet you. Nanami? Okay, got it. Help me with these names, Sombra, if I'm butchering these names. Do you mind giving a new friend a campus tour? Campus is quite big. Easy to get lost. Oh, so you were lost back there. You should have just said so, silly. She left before I could say anything, but I'll just keep that complaint to myself. Kagura-san, are you free after class for the tour? I sure am. You can count on Nanami. She's brimming with energy, but to be honest, all that excess confidence is kind of scary. Our classmates shoot furtive glances my way. I'm pretty sure I'm not just imagining the look of pity in their eyes. Thank you. Good luck. No problem. Level. If anything comes up, feel free to talk with me. Now then, class, I'm going to distribute the career survey form, so start thinking about your future goals, okay? And also, spring sizes, uniform inspections, I try my best to listen to Mizuki-sensei with one ear, but Nanami keeps whispering to me from the side. Hey, new kid, you sure transferred in an odd time. Did your parents get relocated for work? Where do you live? Oh, the dormitory, huh? Must be nice to live so close. It's a godsend to sleep your head over here. Lucky you. Getting put into Kyle Rin's class? It's what everyone calls Mizuki Sensei. Are transfer students really that rare? She keeps pestering me with all these questions. On one side, I'm sitting next to a chatterbox classmate. On the other side, I got this snarky little fox demon. What's gonna last longer, I wonder? This class or my sanity? I'm wondering the same thing right now. That chime sounds really familiar. I don't know what it's from, but I've heard that before. Would it be my first day? Time flew by and classes were over before I knew it. Okay, so you can speed through all this, but I don't know why you would. I mean, it's a visual novel. Part of it is the story. Are you ready? Let's get going. Time for that campus to... Ah! I forgot about the math printout. Sorry, can you hang on for a sec? I'll be right back. She dashes out the classroom with the printouts in hand. She sure is a bundle of energy, huh? And she's something right. Huh? This vase has a crack in it. Did some idiot knock it over? Hmm. They're trying to set me up. They're trying to frame me. I hear something or another about a vase in it. Like five nights at Freddy's. And immediately afterward, I hear someone run down the hall and slam into a door. Believe it or not, I never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Be careful, will you? I, w I have like a couple items from Five Nights at Freddy's that people have given me over the years that for one reason or another that I was thinking about putting a w in a giveaway or something at some point in a contest, but I don't know how I'm going to run that. We'll see. I don't even know if I'm if I'm going to run it. Sorry, sorry. Like I said, I'm not a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan, so. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and I end up bumping into things. 
You hear that? It's a perfect opportunity to practice your power, Kotodama, the power of words. Now remember what we talked about. Relax. Open a Rithian target's mind. Use your mind to feel your way to the truth. Escalate their emotions through Kotodama. One technique I find useful is to visualize something. This fox talks a lot. Imagine peeling layers like the lies falling away. Nanami just said she gets ahead of herself and bumps into things, right? Then wouldn't that make her a likely suspect for the vase breaker? We're trying to solve a mystery here of who broke a vase. Just look at the camera, man. This sounds like the perfect chance to test your power. School's got cameras. Sorry for the wait. I, I interrogate Nanami when she gets back to the class. It's not a big deal. It's a broken vase. So what? Sweep it up. Get another one. That vase. It was you, wasn't it? Huh? Now, use your power now. Show unto me thy true self. I open my mind to Nanami like Manchan instructed and I visualize the lies falling away, exposing the truth. Okay, this is interesting. Is this the mini game portion of the Looks like it. Yes, it is. This is the rift of the mind. We're inside the unique dimension you created. In this dimension, you can intervene in your target's mind and fill it up. See, this is uh, very strange. You see that Nanami girl standing over there to the right. That's not the real Nanami. Just an image of her you created. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you can go crazy. Anything that happens to her will have a strong effect on her mind in the real world. You see those round panels to the left? Those are Kotodama. The power of words made manifest with your ability. Select a panel and it'll warp to the top of its column. You can clear panels by connecting three matching panels either horizontally or vertically allowing you to strike with the power of words. So let's get right to it. Alright, this should be interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Well done. Let's move on. Pay attention to the uppermost row. Those panels may be selectable, but they can't be warped. Even if you could warp them, there'd be no point. They're already at the top. Instead, you can swap those panels out for different ones. So let's get right to it. So we're going to swap, I guess. Easy, right? Use panel warps to weave combos and you'll please the target, filling the happy gauge. Oh, and by the way, obstacle panels can't be moved, but they're clear when you clear any adjacent panels. Each warp or swap consumes one move. Fill the happy gauge before the move counter reaches zero, and you'll successfully fill the target's mind. Okay, okay. Seems like that was your target's favorite attribute. Panels come in five different attributes, each corresponding to different powers words can possess. Out of the five attributes, one will be your target's favorite one. And they're marked with a symbol. Alright, gotcha. The challenge count will go up. You can issue a challenge by spending one challenge count to increase your number of moves. First, select this icon from the four icons you see. What am I selecting here? Oh, I gotta move a cursor. Okay. Good. You selected it. Now select a suitable spot on your target's body. Oh my. <laughs> Try selecting the spot by placing the icon here. It's a little bear. Where am I going? Her head or her? Looks like your challenge was a success. You recovered some moves. You heard the happy voice, right? That voice became energy, which you absorbed. Icons that are likely to succeed will only yield low recovery. Icons that are unlikely to succeed will yield high recovery. Learn the differences between the icons and know which icons right for the job at hand. Yes, this is important, so don't forget it. Sometimes when you fail a challenge, your target will get mad at you. This is a long tutorial. When they get mad at you, they'll launch hindrance attacks. Now how about we get that one more try? Okay, dynamite. 
Oh, hey, nice combo. Clear a bunch of panels, a special panel will appear. Special panels activate when you select them and they don't consume any moves. Go try it out. The bomb cleared every panel it's rolling column. It can clear any panels besides other special panels. By chaining combos and clearing lots of panels, you'll find lots of useful special panels like Count Lock. This is a complex puzzle here <laughs> this little mini game. What in the world? So many instructions. It temporarily prevents the move counter from decreasing. Power, which increases Kotodama damage. And Roulette, which clears all the panels of a randomly selected attribute. Okay, that's all I get to teach you. Now it's time to make that power. I don't know if I was paying all the way attention to all that, but all right. Oh my. Why do I feel so embarrassed? But <laughs> nice, you've advanced the gauge to the next level. You'll want to keep advancing it level by level each time you do you recover some moves if only we could do something about that imagination of yours i've heard of imagine everyone's in their underwear but this is ridiculous when the number of moves hit zero you'll be returned to the title screen be careful you'll have to start over from your save <gasps> hold on can i i, I didn't save <laughs> crap <laughs> oh no uh Wow, we're here. I don't want to. I don't want to screw this up. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. What? All right, I got 31 moves left, but still. Hmm. There we go. Oh my. Hello. Hello, nurse. Hmm. Where do I want to move here? I'm not even sure what that did. <laughs> but, uh, okay. I think you could lock it from taking away your moves for a second. An interesting puzzle game. Interesting to say the least. I thought they were gonna keep scrolling. <laughs> Place answered a lot of this stuff. Kotodama activated. I got silver trophies for that. PlayStation has been censoring a lot of things lately. This game is for perverts. LOL. <laughs> you said it. Well, really, that's what you went with. When I said visualize, that's a that's not quite what I had in mind. You couldn't have gone with. I don't know, peeling the layers of an onion or something, but hey, if it works, it works. No judgments here. Yeah, no judgments. This is a non judgmental zone. So. You think Kotodama creates a unique dimension. Everything that happens here, everything that happens here stays here. It's like Vegas. Everything that happens here is a reflection of your imagination, which means this is what your imagination's like. Caught in my power, and Anami begins to speak. Yes, that's right. I'm the one who knocked it over. She snaps back to her senses. Wait, what? Oh, so she's the one who knocked down the vase. The vase, oh yeah, sorry. Ah, just be careful next time, okay? 
she answered you truthfully. That settles that. Seems like you got some skill after all. Okay, we're a little bit late, but let's go. Time for that campus tour. It's your first day, remember, so just play nice, okay? You might actually enjoy it. Puzzle is open on the title screen. So I guess if you wanted to play the mini games separately, you could. Okay, so quick intro, intro to the academy. Fujisawa Academy is named after its ex-board chairman. It's got middle and high divisions. It used to be a pretty average academy, apparently. But once the current board chairman took over, the academy began prioritizing student autonomy. And so we've gotten pretty popular lately. Campus is quite big considering the size of our student body, huh? Even I kept getting lost myself, though I guess land comes pretty cheap around these parts. I suppose the town's flourishing thanks to Fujisawa's academy presence. Cities that are both modern and in close proximity to nature seem to be gaining popularity among young people in recent years. You live in the dorms, right? That must be so nice. You don't have to worry about being late. I'm always making a mad dash from the station, see? First, here's the cafeteria. About half the students pack lunch, the other half buy lunch. We're so lucky to have a cafeteria that's both yummy and cheap. Hey, Nanami-chan, thanks for the free promo. Is that a new face I see? This is the cafeteria lady. Yeah, next just transferred into our class today. Oh, this late in the semester? That's unusual. Come eat here sometime. I'll give you something extra. I don't want nothing extra, lady. Give me some extra too, auntie. That The lunch ladies are on. Maybe the next time you transfer in. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Male student number one. Hey, Nanami, chasing up the curse of Mikoto again. No, I'm giving the new kid a campus tour today. Are you sure you're the right one for the job? Don't go teaching a new kid anything weird, okay? It'll be fine, okay? Sombra, if you stay, there, there is something from what I've seen from the trailer. There'll be something that's basically, I don't want to give too much away, but you'll enjoy it coming up I don't know when oh sorry I'm kind of well known around these parts anyway next up an electronic chime rings oh that's me hang on a second let's see here she takes out her cell phone her iPhone and she stares at the screen seconds later her eyes almost burst in the sockets I forgot sorry I forgot something else to do today can you follow me for a bit I'll be done quick I swear as soon as I nod to her frantic plea she blasts off like a bullet can I save I want to save just in case we get to another thing where. Alright. You want to save? Heck yeah! Thanks. Take a right once you leave the cafeteria, okay? She sure is perky, this one. Hmm. Am I enjoying myself? Of course I am. Welcome to the stream, by the way. For everybody that's just popped in, that's just tuning in. After dashing out the cafeteria, Nanami bumps into a student who's been chatting and minding his own business. Whoa there, are you okay? Oh, it's you, Kagura. You're up to something again, aren't you? Kuju Khan. Sorry, kind of busy. She claps her hands in apology. Meanwhile, this Kujo guy shrugs his shoulders in exasperation. Senpai, how many times do I have to tell you not to run in the halls? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Chinatsu-chan, I think. Besides, Kujo's a short girl. I can't help but notice a badge on her shoulder. Please be more aware of your surroundings. Okie dokie. Who's the senpai here again? Oh, and is that the new transfer student? Before I can tell what's going on, she wraps behind me, pushes me from behind. I take a step forward and I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Next Level Taken. I'm Sasuki Kujo from Class 3B. I'm the current student council president. Sasuki Kujo? I'm just calling him Kujo. And I am in Shinatsu Hachisuka. I am butchering these names probably from Class 2C. I'm the second Hachisuka on the student council. So please save everyone the trouble and just call me Shinatsu. I'm just going to call you Chin, okay? Help both of us out. Looks like these guys have it all together. Nobody can see that fox but me. Because I'm insane, apparently. 
Kujo's really smart. He's always got the top grades of the academy. And Chin, so mature. She gives stern warnings to near do wells like it's nothing. Wait, this isn't the time to talk. Talk to you later, President. Chin, gotta go. Nanami, Senpai, what did I just tell you? Chin sighs in exasperation as she breaks off into a run once again. I gotta chase after her or I'll get lost again. Alright, Level, I know you just transferred in, so you must be overwhelmed by your new environment. Feel free to talk to me if you ever need anything. I nod before chasing after Nanami. Sorry, Prez. Nanami opens the door to a room smaller than the classroom. A girl inside looks up from her tablet and points her pen at Nanami. Nanami! How could you just forget like that? I'm sorry, okay? Now that's an unfamiliar face. Do you want to join our club? The Bullet Club. Uh, do I want to join the club? I... I just transferred in. A transfer student? Oh yeah, they were talking about you. So you're in Nanami's class, huh? Man, I thought she bagged us a new club member. Well, now that you're here, why don't you join us? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mizuki Sensei asked me to do a campus tour, so I completely forgot and said yes. Oh, so that's what happened. I get it now. Anyway, Nanami, hear anything about the strange voice yesterday? Well, people are saying it's just a crow crying, but I think it's got something to do with the curse of Makoto. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Could you stop labeling every little thing as the curse of Makoto? You're starting to get predictable. Sorry, my bad. Well, I just think it's kind of funny, so I'll let it slide. Just don't overdo it, or people will think you're weird again. I know, I know. I silently watch those two go back and forth for hours and hours and hours until a new girl remembers I'm here. Oh, sorry, my bad. I haven't introduced myself, have I? The name's... Wakaba? Asagiri? I, I'm butchering these names, I'm sure. Class 3A. We're just gonna call her Wak. I'm the president of the occult research club. That No, that didn't sound right. We're gonna call her uh, Giri. Or the ORC for short. I don't know what we're gonna call her. We're just gonna call her W. <laughs> w for short. Call me W. Yes, I will call you W. Kind of throws me off when people call me by my last name. See? I can't even pronounce your last name. I nod. Alright, I forgot to mention, did not. This is the ORC room. Now that she mentions that the room's littered with oddities like indescribable works of art and pyramid dioramas. There's even an anatomical model of the human body flaunting a fancy red and white hat that takes guts. Oh, that anatomical model catch your attention. Good eye. His name's Livercun? What? He's the RC's mascot. He just happens to be one of the original seven mysteries of Fujisawa Academy. The running anatomical model. Cool, huh? You say so, lady. Oh, man, these two are something else. I just stare blankly into the middle distance. Yep, kind of like how I'm feeling. I guess you don't understand his greatness either. But he's so cute. Don't listen to him, Livercon. You're beautiful. She strokes his arm and mutters something. This is awkward, to say the least. Do we have any other members? Nah, it's just me and Nanami. I think I see why. Nanami, give Livercon some space for now. I want to hear what you found out about the White Wolf. Okay, as of now, the White Wolf is still nothing more than vague rumors. Yeah, sure, that's probably about it. Oh, you interested in this sort of stuff, new kid? We're investigating the seven mysteries of Fujisawa Academy. This is the subtitle to this game. They're all pretty much just rumors right now, but they're still kind of amusing. I wonder if I should just make a run for the door, probably. I take a small step back before Nanami... And W, start explaining anyway. Mystery number one, the principal of Fujisawa Academy. Not a single student's ever seen the principal. Supposedly something good will happen if you do. You think somebody must have seen the principal, right? The elementary, the middle, and high division share a principal, and yet not a single student has ever seen him. Mystery number two, the library of wisdom. There's a secret underground passage beneath campus and at the end of the library. Enter, you're granted wondrous wisdom, apparently. A secret underground passage? Cool, huh? Mystery number three, the curse of Makoto. The ghost of Makoto, a girl who jumped off the roof, haunts the campus and brings misfortune to those she targets. There's lots of rumors about people getting hurt or hearing weird voices by the roof. Still just a vague rumor though. Ah, oh, so the curse of Makoto was one of the seven mysteries. Mystery number four, the wandering gentleman. A blonde man wanders campus at night inviting you to a tea party. Don't go. Don't go. 
Refuse, and he sends you to another dimension. Accept, and he'll answer all your questions. A tea party at night, huh? I wonder what sort of snacks he's got. Do you think he'll have other worldly treats? Mystery number five, the clock tower angel. There's an angel of the clock tower who makes romance come true, but keep what you hear confidential or invoke the angel's wrath. Your romance comes true, will come crumbling down. What kind of petty angel wrecks people's romance? Mystery number six, the white wolf. A white wolf lives around campus. It appears and disappears seemingly at random. It's got a higher GPA than me for some reason. You can touch its white fur for good luck, but it attacks all who try. That's the mystery we're investigating now. The elusive white wolf. Is it fluffy? Is it silky? Does it have rabies? Mystery number seven, the future reflecting mirror. In an empty classroom somewhere, there's a big mirror. Stand in front of it as the sun sets, and your future self will appear asking you ten questions. Answer truthfully, you promise a brilliant future. Answer even a single lie, and you'll encounter great frustration. I wonder what my future self's going to be like. A white wolf, an angel, and a gentleman. This sounds less occult and more just like plain old fantasy to me. The seven mysteries of most campuses are just childish tales, but I have to admit, Fujisawa Academy seem real elaborate. Either someone has an overactive imagination or I think to myself nodding every now and then as I listen to the Nami and W's discussion. And so the ORC is trying to solve these seven mysteries. We haven't actually solved anything as of yet, but our information and reporting skills are top notch. Nanami triumphantly shows me her phone. We use Quacker to find rumors and report whatever info we get. You use Quacker too, right? It's got to be an app, I'm assuming. Quacker is a simple tool for posting comments and images online. Oh, sort of like Twitter. It's part diary, part promotional vehicle. Yeah, part communication tool, just like Twitter. Different people use it in different ways. Nowadays, it's an indispensable tool used by people of all ages and celebrities and streamers with nothing important to say. Hey, you taking a shot at me? Hmm, looks like there's not much info today. Oh, everyone's talking about New Kid here, though. W fiddles with her tablet. Must be nice to have a tablet. You got the latest model, don't you, Prez? Yeah, it's got a large screen, plenty of storage space, plus it's got four ports for external devices. Show off. That's why the Prez does most of the quacker side of the investigation. Anyway, I'm going to go post today's update. Sure thing. Um, there was a strange voice. Could it be the curse of Makoto? Let's start from there. Why lead with the question and not just the answer? Well, the answer is going to be down below. First, you got to make an impact, you know. And post it. If you want to know more about Fujisawa Academy, I'd recommend checking out Quacker. All right. I go recommend you some users to follow. Go check out all these users who post about the Academy. The club president adds them all to a group, but she finds them, and I'll go share that group with you. Fujisawa Quack... <laughs> Quack Academy. What the... The hell? Nanami shares a Quacker group with me. There's a surprisingly large follower base on there. More followers and subscribers than me. I know she's also slightly shared the ORC group with me. Smooth. I look up, and Nanami winks. Check it out whenever you got time. I'm too busy, Nanami. Too busy. Quacker's open on the menu. Quacker, Twitter. Oh, look at the time. It's a good time to plug my own Twitter. Next level taken. Sorry for making you stick around. We'll pick up the campus tour where we left off tomorrow. Orange light streams into the room. The Nanami and Wakaba's lectures on the seven mysteries and Quacker took even more time than I thought. Yeah, that was a long discussion. So anyway, I never really noticed until today, but everyone's really nice to transfer students, huh? Maybe I should just ask people for info on the seven mysteries while I show you around. Please, I promise it won't distract from the tour. I'd like to ask for your help too, since Nanami has to run around campus questioning people. Our info gathering has been subpar lately. She spins her pen around her fingers. I'm sure is so ashamed. I can't turn both of them down. Even if I refused, I'm sure Nanami would persuade me anyway. I came here for a more peaceful academic life, but it's slipping further and further away by the hour. I sigh, and I reluctantly nod. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Nanami gets up, looks at me with a huge smile. I need to get out of here before she asks me for another favor. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If you ever want to talk about the seven mysteries, you're always welcome here. Later. Once I leave the club room, I'm suddenly struck by fatigue. <laughs> Let's call it a day and head back to the dorm. The dorm's on campus. Once I get inside, I hear a voice from far away. Mr. Birdie, please wait. I'm going to save because that was a long explanation and I don't want to get caught having a restart or something.
and play that part over again. No thanks. I mean, it was interesting, but it was it was long. All right, let's see what she's got to say. There's a female student chasing up the bird that flew away. I look up further and I see the symbol of the academy, the clock tower. One of the seven mysteries. Was it an angel that supposedly lived in the clock tower? So you are interested in those seven mysteries. Not really. I just head straight to the door without acknowledging the question. Come on, admit it. You're totally hooked. This game is available right now if I haven't mentioned already on Steam, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Came out today. $29.99, I believe, is the retail price. Although... I'm having trouble finding the PlayStation Store, the United States PlayStation Place. I uh, can't talk. The U.S. PlayStation Store, for some reason, it's couldn't find it. I don't know why. Those girls sure were interesting. Yeah. Uh, then materialize and interact with them yourself. They'd run away from me. What? Do you really want to live a quiet academic life? Well, to be fair, the reason you had to transfer was because you stuck your nose and it's some pretty freaky stuff. I guess laying low is a perfectly valid plan, but can you keep your curiosity in check? I mean, your greatest desire is to... Well, whatever. You do you. Good luck next. Damn, Fox is calling me up. Chapter 1, Mystery of the White Wolf. June the 2nd. I breeze through class and it's over before I know it. Mizuki sensei leaves the room and the class starts going wild. I didn't understand today's physics lecture at all. You're so amazing. You answered all those questions like it was nothing. Anyway, let's continue where we left off yesterday. It's pretty noisy out in the hall. There's a lot more students out there than yesterday and seems to be mostly girls. Oh, those must be the Toya Maniacs. They're fans of Toyama Kun, the super popular guy in Class B. He's a track and field ace. And he always breaks records at nationals. I took tours of Class B. And sure enough, there's a swarm of students by the door. Congrats on your new record, shuji -kun. You were so cool. Ah, thanks. A swarm of girls follows a guy out of the classroom like moths to a flame as he walks this way. Bam, one of the moths bumps into Nanami's arm on the way here. Hey, out of the way! Shuji Kun's walking here. Hey, no need to be rude, you know? I sense that Nami's about to lose it with this girl, but the very next moment. Sorry, I know you all came here to see me, but could you not block the hallway? I need to get to the fields, and you're bothering the other students. I'll gladly listen to you all down by the field. Really? Then it's a promise. Shuji Kun, you're so kind. The girls begin to disperse, though a bit reluctantly. Once they clear the hallway, the guy jogs up to us. Sorry about that. She wasn't trying to be mean. Unless, at least I hope not. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to snap like that. You're Nanami from the ORC, right? Huh? Have we talked before? You're actually pretty famous around campus, I'd say. Your name gets thrown around in my class, at least. Well known, huh? That's kind of embarrassing. Though in Nanami's case, I'd say she's infamous rather than famous. Now you, I've never seen you before, have I? Just transferred in yesterday. Can you put your arm down, dude? <laughs> what the hell? I'm Shuji Toyama. I do track and field. Toyama Shuji. Did you not get tired? Does your arm just... I mean, whatever. Feel free to come and watch the practice when you get the chance. We'll see you later. I don't like that guy. He leaves with a wave of the hand. For a popular guy, he doesn't seem too full of himself. You're right. He's got the air of a good young man. Okay, we should get going too. This is relaxing music, I'll say that much. This is the courtyard. Lots of students eat lunch here. Plenty of benches to sit on. It's great when the weather's nice. And it's the perfect place to gather info. Because lots of people gather here? Yeah, the cafeteria and the courtyard are perfect for gathering info because lots of people gather there. Just stake out those two places and you're bound to hear just about every current rumor. Let's try. She's got a pretty keen eye, huh? Now that's strange. It almost feels like Mon Chan and Anami are holding a conversation. Oh, it's a janitor. Hello. Hello, Kagura-san. What brings you here, eh? I'm showing a new kid around campus. Oh, so you're the transfer student, huh? You'll find me here in the courtyard most of the time. Staring with binoculars. You weirdo. So if you need anything, just ask. Thanks, I guess. Good answer. Well, I should go put away my tools now. The janitor leaves broom in hand. 
He's such a nice guy. He always has time to chat with the students. Wait up. Mm? Mr. Birdie, please wait. Oh, it's Hanoka-chan. We were in the same class as you. Hey, Hanoka-chan. Nanami-chan, huh? Did you see a birdie fly this way? He's got white wings. can fit in the palm of your hand. That bird just now flew away. Didn't see where it went, though. I see. Maybe he went back to the forest. Ah, the, you mean the mountain forest behind the building, right? It's a pretty soothing spot. You see, there's lots of animals in the forest. Puppies and birdies and kitties. And they're all super cute. Nanami, is this a friend of yours? Oh, this is a new kid who transferred to my class yesterday. You like animals? Yeah, I love them. They're so cute and soothing. I'm Hanoka. I can't pronounce that last name. Class 3A, I'd be happy if you cla called me Hanoka. I'm calling you Hanoka. Class 3A, huh? Pretty sure that's the same class as uh, Wakaba. We're in the same class. I know who she is. She's stylish, diligent, and super cool. Her tone's as cozy as her appearance. Anoka's voice makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Okay, I'll try chasing that Mr. Birdie a little more. See you later, Nanami. Later. Okay, we should get going, too. Where next? As I follow after Nanami, a chime suddenly rings in my head. Monchan silently leaps onto my shoulder. And we get XP for some reason. You hear that? It's the word book. I open my hand. The book suddenly appears. Letters float in the air above its pages. I've officially lost my mind. The letters rearrange the spell out soothing spot. The word book. One of the powers I gained upon forming a contract with Monchan. There exist words that hold a certain power. Apparently this book automatically registers any such words as it perceives them. I can summon it at will. Just like Monchan, the word book is invisible to ordinary people. Because I'm insane. Ah, of course. Either it reacted to your curiosity or the time for you to use your ability draws near. The word book collects keywords and each word has an attribute. You know, since words have power and all. Remember what we talked about when you used Kotodama? I thought, you know, words never hurt me. Sticks and stones and break your bones, but apparently not. The five attributes are fire, tears, greed, peace, and love. Collect more words and the power of your Kotodama increases. How exactly do you collect words, you ask? You hear them around campus or you read them on Quacker, you know, like uh, words. You can find the word book through the menu. Refer to it whenever you like. Monchan poofs out of sight after the ominous warning. Word book's been opened on the menu. Quack, quack. Hey, don't get left behind, okay? Nanami's gotten quite a bit ahead of me. I apologize in the jog to catch up. Oh, Nanami, new kid. I've been looking all over for you. Huh? Prez, what's up? You haven't been checking your messages, have you? Have you seen Quacker lately? Quacker? What's going on, Quacker? Shows Nanami your tablet. What's this, an animal hideout? I know Quacker's not exactly the most reliable sources, but it's worth checking out at least. Sure is. I'll go check it out myself. Roger, in that case, I'll... I, I know, I know. I'll finish up that campus tour. guy on the right is scaring me so a dog bit me the other day oh wait did you seriously buy into the mystery of the white wolf and take the challenge what's it so you met the white wolf what nanami no no it was just a stray dog it looked hungry so i tried feeding it and then it bit me a stray dog we've been getting a lot of stray dogs recently huh that stray dog looked injured too really you think that animal sadist everyone's talking about got to it animal sadist what the hell? forget about that stray dog do you know any rumors about the white wolf what? Gathering weird rumors again? Eh, it's Yukino. I hope I'm saying that right. I see you're still wasting time on stupid fairy tales. And I see you're still rude and cynical. Shut up! I just call it as I see it. All the drama of high school. After, I think it's high school. Maybe it's college. I don't know. After snapping in the Nami, the girl shoots a glance my way. Oh well, that's a new face. I guess you're the transfer student, huh? I bet Nanami's gonna force you to join that worthless little club of hers. She's jealous. No, I'm not. I'm just giving a little campus tour. Nothing more, nothing less. Putting you in charge of a tour is just a disaster waiting to happen. I bet what you're really doing is gathering weird rumors and using the tour as an excuse. Uh, looks like I hit the nail on the head. Good grief. I'm Yukino Tsubaki, Class 3C. Tsubaki. 
Yukino. All right, Yukino. At least they say their names. Our classrooms are next to each other, so we'll probably bump into each other from time to time. Are right, you know Nami's friend? I know she's not. Hell no! <laughs> we look like friends to you. We're merely acquaintances. If you ever get sick of her campus, or just hit me up. I'm pretty sure I can show you a better time than she can. Mm. Jeez, talk about rude. Yukino's always bad mouthing me. Why can't she just leave me alone? Cause she's up. Anyway, moving on. Next place. Looks like we got ourselves another strong-willed girl. She and Nami are like cats and dogs. Ah, oh, change of scenario. This forest is known to be a soothing spot. It's sunny and perfect for a picnic or a stroll. And it's our number one destination for today. Honoka-chan said there were a lot of animals here, but I don't really see that many right now. Be careful not to go in too far. You'll get lost. Me, I'll be fine. I'm a local. I know this forest like the back of my hand. Oh, what's that? So anyway, mind if we take a quick look around? According to the info we found on Quacker, the white wolf hideout should be around here. Hey, don't turn around like that. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It won't take long. You won't get lost as long as you're with me, and we're not going to go in too deep, I promise. I cave into her persistence, so I guess we're exploring this darn forest. It's unbelievably quiet here. It feels like a million miles away from campus. It's like an unexplored frontier as soon as you step inside. She's right. It'd be wise not to venture too deep inside. Deeper into the silent forest. This is kind of like gotcha life. The thicket suddenly starts to rustle. What well, what was that? The white wolf. The sound gets closer and closer. The thicket starts rustling right beside us. I gulp as I stare in the direction of the sound and <gasps> It's just a dog, don't scare me like that. Nanami sighs and smiles in relief when she squats down to approach the dog and gets bit. Come here, are you hungry? Let's see, I got some candy, but you don't eat that, huh? The dog steps back and lets out a low growl. You shouldn't should be feeding that damn thing. Looks pretty pissed. Looks like the poor thing's hurt. Monchan's right. Look close. There's a little blood stain the white fur of the dog's shoulders. Huh, that's strange. The neighborhood dogs I know are friendly and leap up at me. What's wrong? What's with that dubious look? I'm serious. As soon as Nanami gets up, the dog disappears deep in the darkness of the forest at the drop of a hat. Ah, there it goes. Maybe it's cautious around people since it's a stray. More XP for some reason. It looked pretty damn terrified if you ask me. There's something not quite right here. We continue to search the forest a bit but find no sign of the white wolf's hideout. Quack quack. Uh, let's check Quacker, which is Twitter. Yeah, I mean, she's so quiet. No way. Her mom's like so beautiful and mature. They're like total opposites. It's legit. The daughter's in class 3A, Hanoka. Is it true the daughter of an actress attends the school? Quack, quack. Apparently the white wolf leaves deep in the forest. Strange voice up on the roof. Investigation complete. It was a crow. Come here. I won't bite. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Says the dog. LOL. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Uh, why? Ha, ah, she's the same as ever. You see, everyone around campus likes to talk about how Hanoka loves animals, but animals don't love her. In fact, they'd run away from her. They should turn dead or alive into one of these type of games. I mean, they already got the, the beach volleyball. Hanoka reaches out to a cat, only for it to claw her hand and run. Oh, they've got a new pack of clothing in Dead or Alive. It's 35 bucks though, but you can buy the clothing separate on Xbox, but I think it's coming also to PS4 where you can buy them separately. Hanoka's hand must hurt, but what really hurts is seeing her slump her shoulders in disappointment. I don't know if she's unlucky or they just really hate her. Weird, huh? Hanoka's situation is almost like an eighth mystery. Maybe the ORC should investigate her someday. Did you just see that now? You see that just now? Yeah, is your hand okay? Hanoka shows us her bandage-covered hand and flashes an awkward smile. How embarrassing. I love animals, but why do they hate me so much? 
Maybe you love them so much it scares them away. I'm sure they'll understand eventually. You really think so? I hope that's the case. I just want to be friends with them someday. This chick's weird, this Anoka. I can almost feel the desire imbued in that last utterance of hers. Say, Hanoka, have you heard of any rumors about the white wolf? Apparently he lives in the forest. I come back here a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen a wolfie. Hmm. I guess it was just a fake rumor then. The library. Where people go to study. There's lots of room, and it's nice and tidy here, right? Next door is the reference room with convenient access to the database, but it's quieter than the library, so it's the best place to study. And above all else, this is a great place for covert info gathering. People talk about rumors here more often than you expect. Okay, follow my lead. And with that, Nanami pulls out a random book from a shelf. She then sits behind two girls, opens the book, and pretends to read. I follow Nanami's lead, and I sit next to her. Man, classes suck. My grades aren't getting any better. Same, and like studying in the library is not even helping. Anyway, you hear how this one kid in class A's grade suddenly shot to the roof? I don't know why we get experience points for this, but okay. Like what, girl? I don't even want to hear about other people getting good grades. Girl, mm. No, no, look what I'm saying is someone like legit touched the white wolf apparently. Huh? Yo, what's the big idea? You said someone confirmed the white wolf was legit, right? Please tell me more. I didn't say that. And don't just butt in yelling like that, you creep. And with that, the two girls quickly leave the library. Ah, don't go. Thanks for joining. Whoops. Welcome I didn't mean to, to raise my voice like that. I usually don't screw up like this. Doesn't respond right away. Give him a sec. The text is Thank you, Bot. Always. But that's some great info. Someone confirmed the mystery of the white wolf. Thank you, Nightbot, for interrupting me. <laughs> Since it happened in class, hey, the club president might know something about it. Let's go ask her later. She's completely forgotten about the campus. Tour. Yeah, this girl's head is in the clouds. I want to get back to the puzzle aspect. And not for the reasons you're thinking. Just because it's like a, it's a break in the, uh, in the story. I guess that's it for today. Thanks for tagging along. You're a big help. I'm a puzzle game fan. I gotta go see the club president, so if anything happens, contact me, okay? Later. She leaves with a wave of the hand and silence suddenly returns to this world. Her energy sure is infectious. It's really I obvious when she's gone. When she played You're curious Kombat. about the seven she mysteries, aren't you? Over there. It's written all over your face. Ha! Fine. Let's head back to your room and sort out the info we got, okay? Go do some investigating. Quacker! What's going on in Quacker? Okay, let's sort through the info. She was investigating the mystery of the white wolf today. So first, let's reveal what exactly the white wolf is. Rumor has it it lives hidden around the campus. Touch its fur. Good luck will come your way. However, the wolf attacks anyone who tries. But as for anyone who's touched its fur, we heard in the library that someone has apparently. And good luck indeed came their way. If that story is true, then that person might be injured from their encounter with the white wolf. So it looks like our best bet is to find out who touched the wolf. Any idea who it could be? You asked me who it could be and you gave me one option. <laughs> Come on. It's Hanoka. True, she's in class A and her hand was injured. Another thing to note is that animals around these parts seem quite adverse to humans. Remember the white dog we saw in the forest? Yeah, the one that was hurt. It was clearly afraid of humans. A white wolf and a white dog. It's not a stretch to assume that's some connection, right? Plus, it seems that Hanoka often visits that forest. Because she's a weirdo. In any case, it might be a good idea to talk to Hanoka and get her side of the story. You don't know if she'll talk? What do you think your power is for, stupid? I bet you're just dying to find out the truth. <laughs> that's just a feeling I've had all along. Well, it's up to you whether you want to use your power or not. You do you next. How do we find Hanoka though? Just look for her in the forest? Well, we're not exactly friends, so I don't have her number. Guess we have to ask around. Why don't you try asking Nanami? Good thing she forced me to trade contact info just in case. I bring up her number and hit the call button. Before the ringing tone can even repeat her loud voice answer. Hello, hello, Nanami. Huh, Hanoka? I'll go ask her. Hang on. Hmm, she's not picking up, but I'm sure you'll find her in the forest. Gonna head over there now? Hmm. You got me all curious now. My intuition's going off like crazy. Like, this must have something to do with the white wolf. 
Huh, really? Let's go, let's go. I'll be right there. So wait for me, okay? Oh god, now we gotta drag her up with the list of destinations. This is the destination list. Choose the location you want to go and just go. Alright, we're going to the forest. Although I wonder what happens if we went to the school, but... So Hanoka might know something, that's what you're saying. Okay, let's go look for her. We look for Hanoka in the forest, can't find hide nor hair of her. Maybe she's deeper inside the forest. The forest gets dark around sunset. We keep walking before Nanami stops in her tracks. Hey, did you hear something? I strain my ear between the rustling of tree branches. I can hear a thudding noise. The unmistakable sound of a blunt object colliding with flesh. Uh, I think. But the next noise is obvious. A pathetic canine whimper. It's a dog from this afternoon. It looks hurt. I'll go chase after it. Nanami chases the tail of white dog. Meanwhile, I go the opposite way and head the direction the dog came from. Oh, it's you. Can I help you? Well, this escalated quickly. The music got real dramatic all of a sudden. <laughs> what the hell? Anoka, with a bloody stick in her hand, has a look on her face that's not exactly filling me with confidence. Hey, why is everyone so selfish? Why does nobody ever think of me? This girl's crazy. This chick is... Nobody, not a single person, ever thinks about me. Ah, it pisses me off. The white dog went away. What have you done? Yeah. Well, what do you think I've done? I think it's fair to say this girl has uh, issues. She's either mentally unstable or possessed or whatever. Either way, you're going to have to pacify her. But it's up to you whether you want to use your power or not. Oh, Hanoka's evil. Do you think they're right? Do you think it's all my fault? Hanoka hurls a stick at the ground. She glares at me with volcanic hostility burning in her eyes. Her body tenses like she's going to come at me. Come at me, man. Come on me. Looks like I got no choice. I see. So you made up your mind. Very well. Next, bring out the word book. With a nod to my chan, I open up my left hand. I summon the word book. Let's go time next. Let me save before. Just in case I lose. And uh, just in case my save data gets erased, I'm going to save it over here. Because you never know. I had a glitch in this one game. I lost my whole save on Xbox. I ended up finishing the game anyway, but it still perturbed me that I had to go and do it over again. It's go time next. Let's do this. Show unto me thy true self. I concentrate to conjure up the unique dimension, instantly engulfing Hanoka within... Cinema's been added. Oh, the holy word book. It's like the junior uh, woodchuck guidebook. Hanoka! Oh, your favorite part. Your favorite part. Um. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to. Which one am I. You know, they gave me a tutorial. I don't, I don't think I was paying all the way attention to it. Let's see here. Hmm. Decent combo. You can't move those. Okay, gotcha. I'm running out of moves. I only got nine moves left. I don't remember what the challenges do, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Can't move that either. Okay, they gave me extra moves, thank goodness. Tr 
Try not to get too disturbed watching this. <laughs> hmm. I don't know which one to move now. It's more complicated than it looks. Oh, this will be a big one, five. Running out of moves again. Just in, just in the nick of time. She looks upset. I move here? What in the world? Right here. Running out of moves and she's not too happy. Oh my. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Love Jesus. It's cold in here. She abuses animals. Not cool. I'm not I don't have anything to say <laughs> I have nothing to say about that alright <clears throat> anywho caught in my power Hanoka begins to speak that was interesting <clears throat> I'm so sorry what have I done I've been studying and studying yet my grades never go up I was so frustrated I couldn't stop myself but once I started doing it, everything got better I could concentrate while studying and my grades improved started doing what beating up on animals like Brav. I said, this game is for perfect slap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with you, Sombra. <laughs> I don't disagree with you, Sombra. After a while, the frustration came back. I couldn't concentrate on studying anymore. I don't understand it myself. Uh, why did I... Were you the only one doing this out here? Are you going to be playing later or anything? Because I would be up for uh, some Dead by Daylight on Xbox. I don't think so. There's been rumors about animal abuse around here after all. I don't really have any blood points, but... Or any perks for that matter, but, you know. It's dead by daylight. Yeah. I see. So rumors of people hurting animals here for relief has evolved into one of the seven mysteries, then. They hurt animals for relief? What the hell? This is a... This is strange. There you are. Oh, and Hanoka's with you We're too. Going to Effie or play BBB or Refive. Hanoka's face suddenly turns pale, as though she fears I'll expose her. As messed up as all this is, I suspect there's more to this than meets the eye. Just like the Transformers, there's m more than meets the eye. The white dog got away. Figure anything out on your end. I tell her about people hurting animals in the forest, and how the white dog that's been running away from people is most likely what people have been calling the white wolf. So you mean that white dog was a white wolf all along? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I guess that explains things. Makes sense to attack if it's scared of people, and it's entirely possible it's wandered onto campus. 
I didn't think there'd be animal abuse going on out here. I mean, I've heard rumors about it, but not this close to the campus. But still, it's unforgivable to hurt those poor animals. Right, Hanoka? R right. Yeah. Hanoka seems to be telling Glance. I pretend not to notice it, but the sense of her relief is palpable. Let's go report. I wonder if she's still in the club room. Well, we gotta get going. Be sure to head home before it gets dark, okay, Hanoka? Something wrong with you, Hanoka? Turn my back on a confused Hanoka and start walking away. What on earth happened to her? This afternoon was about as messed up as it gets. You're telling me. Finally breaks her silence looks this way. She seems more abused by all this than I'm comfortable with. You sure don't want to tell Nami about the Hanoka girl? I see. You don't want to out her. It's up to her what to do now. You just wanted to find out the truth and now... You do. Well, I guess that's just how you roll. I wish that thing would stop talking like <laughs> You do you, and this is how you roll. So much for good luck will come your way. So it was just a bunch of hooligans abusing animals for fun, huh? That's just sickening. It is. So the so-called white wolf was just a poor abused dog. Anyhow, I didn't expect you to actually find out the truth. Way to go, new kid. I know, you definitely got what it takes to be an ORC member. You should seriously consider joining us officially. You don't have to give us your answer, right? Okay, wait, okay? We can wait. Oh, right, Prez? How's it going on, Quacker? Spins her pen, points it. White Wolf, actually poor, panicky pooch. How's that? Roger that. For details, visit the Occult Research Club. Then Nami types on her phone with skillful finesse. Let's check what's going on in Quacker. Quack, quack. A male student got injured on the stairs near the roof. I wonder if he's okay. Report. White wolf. Actually, poor panicky pooch. For details, visit the OC club. Thanks. Oh, Nanami. Looks like someone got hurt near the stairs. Kappa turns a tablet towards Nanami. A male student got injured on the stairs near the roof. It might be the curse of Makoto. Or he could have just slipped. Here we go again. Nanami trots up. Out of the room. You gotta admire the girl's spunk, right? Well, that's all fine and dandy, I guess. Does she always get like that about the curse of Makoto? Ah, right. I just forgot. You just transferred in. Of course you wouldn't know. Makaba gives an ambiguous smile as she looks out the window. Her gaze giving way to a, a somber wistfulness. The curse of Makoto is, uh, let's say, special to Nanami. But not a moment later, she's back to her usual bold smile. You know, I seriously didn't think you'd help out with the investigation. When you asked if anybody in Class A suddenly got better grades, the first person to come to mind was Hanoka. Good thing you kept the whole Hanoka thing a secret from Nanami. She's kind of reckless, so I worry about her from time to time. You must be good friends. Well, we've been together since our first year. I just can't leave her alone. Well, feel free to pay us a visit again if you feel like it. When I leave the club room and head for the stairs, I see Nanami walking back this way. Heading home, I see, oh, the quacker tip? I couldn't get any proof, but it's got to be the curse of Makoto. Well, I, I got to head back to the club room. I got to go report or I'll get yelled at again. She starts walking away, but a few steps later, she turns around. Next, you were a big help. Thanks for everything. See you tomorrow. And with a jubilant smile, she trots off with a twinkle in her step. What did I say? You ended up having to use your power. Was it a fluke? <laughs> well, I wonder. I'd say you let your curiosity get the better of you. Oh, curiosity. I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. When faced with the mysterious or the unknown, I just can't help but want to know the truth. It's got me into more trouble than I care to mention. You're curious as to why she resorted to animal sadism, aren't you? Well, there's no use hiding it from me. Wanchan's right. The stuff with an oak in the forest, there was nothing remotely normal about that. And why do I get the feeling uncovering the truth will not end well? You're saying there's a point of no return if you delve in too deep? Well, I guess you'd be right about that. Eccentric, weirdo, space case, psychic. What else do they call you? I glare at Montana. She lists names people called me in the past. I don't want to let it get to me. Sticks and stones and all that. Yeah, I brought that up earlier. What? You don't want to remember? My bad, my bad. Anyway, here's my intuition tells me. You'll be fine as long as you've got that nutcase Nami around. You look relatively normal in comparison. Wait, doesn't that make it any better? What? That doesn't make it any better? Well, you do you next. I I wish this thing would stop talking like this. I'm gonna strangle that fox. Speaking of animal abuse. Mystery of the White Wolf Trophy Urn, Chapter 2. And I believe I'm gonna save and call it a stream. Interesting game. I will continue this. I would like to play this all the way through. 
Um, not for the reasons you're thinking. But <laughs> thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, perhaps I might jump on the Xbox in a second. I'll message you here in a second, Yasaku. Thanks for tuning in, Saku. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. LOL. Even if you were quiet and lurking. We like the lurkers here. We do. It's been Next Level Taken. Until next time.